So if everyone doesn't mind, I'd like you all to humor me for a moment here. And we're going to take a trip back in time. We're going to go back before we had dresser drawers full of sorority tank tops and flags in every room of our apartment. We're going to go back to when we were just young undergraduate collegians, enamored by the opportunity to become part of something bigger than ourselves. The opportunity to go Greek. During most Greek recruitment processes, we are tasked with the impossible. Given roughly a week or so to choose which organization of too many to name is going to become a defining factor in the rest of our lives. We learned so much about these organizations, more than we can process in our entire undergraduate careers, let alone one week. So how are we expected to process all this information and make such a monumental decision in such a short period of time? Well, we aren't. People realize this. That's impossible. And if we can't process all these different things at the same time, they tell us to focus on one. They say, look for brotherhood. Find the chapter where you see the most brotherhood and where you can imagine yourself taking part in that brotherhood. And it sounds foolproof, right? But that begs the question, how do we define brotherhood? What is brotherhood? It's my belief that brotherhood is the family atmosphere fostered by a values-based fraternity. It's founded on the common belief in the values of a fraternity. Brotherhood is living our lives by a moral code that we agree with, along with the fraternity, and being lucky enough to do it alongside a collective of men that agree with the same things. Fraternities teach us to live lives by a moral code that we agree with and they develop us to do so. We should want to be better recognized by these actions than what we wear, what we say. We want people to know us by what we think and what we do. That's how we recognize as men of Greek. It's not the t-shirts. So I realize brotherhood's often misunderstood. You often see chapters that go around and get in trouble because you have people not living up to the values of the fraternity. And often it stems from just a select few members of the chapter. And it's unfortunate, but in these kind of situations, you see that members need to be kicked out. It happens. It's unavoidable. And when these members are kicked out, you often hear something along the lines of, well, you're kicking us out? Where is the brotherhood in that? What these members fail to realize is brotherhood's conditional. It's conditional based on the assumption that you will live your life by the values of that fraternity. When these members chosen, chose to abandon the values of that fraternity, they kick themselves out, they remove themselves from that brotherhood in a much more real and much more absolute manner than any formal expulsion ever could. Before their expulsion, these members were identifying themselves by very little more than just the physical letters on their chests. And with their expulsion, you often hear them say something like, you know, you're taking my friendship from me. And rightfully, they might be losing that friendship. But they lost that brotherhood by their own decisions. And there's an important difference there. I'm not trying to discount friendship. Friendship's really important. It really can be based on common interests, shared experiences, things that have lots of substance. But brotherhood is different from this. Brotherhood is a product of culture. In a fraternity, just like in a family, we are raised. Raised by a process that helps develop us into the men that we will become. And it takes strict adherence to principle to take part in these brotherhoods. But with that great price comes a greater reward. You will find a safe haven of men that believe in the exact same things that you believe in. You will find men that know that the man that you are, and they know the man that you want to become. And who have pledged themselves to the exact same values that you have. That is the foundation that brotherhood's built on. It's living your ritual together. It's about pledging your life to the values that you agreed to when you became a member of the organization together. So this realization was kind of shocking to me because I'm a legacy. And I thought, coming to my organization, I had such a strong connection. Obviously, much, much more so than anybody else I was joining. I thought, this is my family. This is something that I know about. I'm special because I'm a Greek by blood. But a realization came. As the years passed, I learned the ritual. I saw the importance of the execution of our cardinal principles. I saw the value they had in my life, and I saw the value that they could have in the lives of those I love, including my brothers. And as the years passed, I realized I wasn't committing myself to this fraternity for my life because I was born <coughs> into anything, but rather that I was raised to the teachings of our ritual, to value the ex execution of our cardinal principles at the highest level of my moral code. So now I realize being a Greek by blood doesn't mean anything. 
I know that the strongest connection to my fraternity and my brothers will come from being a Greek by belief. Thank you.